Well, DSBK has unveiled a state-of-the-art bike racing event with the Adrenaline Cup. It's all going to take place at the Dubai Aerodrome on October the 9th. It's based on this concept. I like this, Neil. One day, one race, one trophy. No, wait. We need to put a proper voice over to this sketch. It's a fantastic line. You need to go with that base of uh, as if you're unveiling a, a, a movie oh, like or something. like the movie cinema. Yeah. One day, <laughs> one race, one trophy. Mm-hmm. The event is centered on the vision to bring world leading races together in one place. It's the first of its kind race. Uh, is a challenge for any superbike racer who wants to get in the winner's circle. And to talk more about that, uh, more about this, Nasser Syed is joining us here in the studio in his racing gear, mind you. Thank you very much for coming in. <laughs> Thank you so much. You've got and what, the helmet. And everything. What are you in? Are we dangerous enough that you've got to be in the fire protection suit? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's the protection of my life. Wow. Yeah, and it's, uh, I'm a racer, so uh, it has to be like this. Otherwise, uh, I won't be here. No, but then uh, this, this is fantastic. And, you know, we, we've only seen people wear this from a distance or when they're riding a bike uh, or, or for that matter in movies. But then this is this for the first time and you've got some, you know, tar marks on your on your suit. Uh, it, you've, you've fallen off from your bike multiple times, but the suit has protected you, saved you always. Exactly. Yeah. The safety gear of um, super biking is uh, highly, very high mm-hmm. kind of a safety uh, protection we have. You know, this is the country like, you know, um, even if uh, in, in India, like mm-hmm. you know, when you used to race, like it was only with the t-shirt and the jean pant and the whatever shoes okay. you have sneakers there yeah? so but when we we are here like you know it is the international standard with the suit and the proper helmet and with the all certified gear and everything that mm-hmm. makes you uh, ride more fast and whatever whatever you are trying to do like okay. in, on the race like you know you have different kind of a lines and different kind of a speed you're carrying when you have a crash you know you 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 have definitely, if you try something different, mm-hmm. you will definitely going to have a crash. So this is the gear which you makes you feel like, you know, yes, try your best. And even if you crash, this protects you. Wow. So that's how it is. So when it comes to the idea of the concept, one day, one race, one trophy, how did you come up with it? Yeah, this is, this is something unique. I'm racing since last 10 years in Dubai. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, there was no media coverage and there is no uh, talk about your, uh, I mean, what you are doing. Mm-hmm. And the people are here, like, in you know, a lot of people, they are into this race, uh, this kind of a sport, but they're always, like, in a kind of an underdog. So mm-hmm. they are not being exposed to the market or anywhere. Like, you know, even the parents doesn't know, like, you know, there's a bike race, bike track days, track uh, here. Mm-hmm. Okay. So when we want to ride a bike, like, you know, when I went for the first time to the Hatta, so then I realized when I came back, I was in kind of a speed of uh, 280, 290. Wow. You know, so I came back home. I was just thought like, you know, I have kids and I have my family, I have my business. What if, if I'd have crashed, you know? So uh, then I decided like, you know, no, this is not for me. Uh, Though I'm a bike lover, but I feel like, you know, I wanted to be somewhere where I want to try my biking um, ability. So that's how I came to the track on 2012 and I started riding on the track and track I, I found like, you know, I'm good in track. So people encouraged me like, you know, why don't you race? Because mm-hmm. you have a capacity to race. So I said, okay, fine. So when somebody tells you like uh, you have a capability to race or whatever, so you tend to do that, the right. same thing. Gotcha. So that I caught it from there. And I started riding bike. I started racing. I started racing since last eight years. Then, after eight years, I realized, like, you know, I still, n- people doesn't know me. People doesn't know that I'm a racer. I'm a, uh, I'm a champion. And I raced here and Qatar and Bahrain and India. No one knows me, mm-hmm. in, uh, in, if, you, if you ask me. Like, I thought, like, you know, why not I give a platform? I have a capability to make this platform as, like, you know, I can my fellow riders my uh, racers I, I spoke to them like you know I'm thinking to do something like this what do you, what do you think they said great idea fantastic anybody wants to come in media or any TV or something they always like it but I felt like you know I have gone through all these eight years mm. I was not been exposed to the market or in this industry so I wanted to do something like this so I came up with one of my friend you know he's uh, Salman Yusuf Khan he's a celebrity uh, in India so I shared this things with him like you know this is what I'm doing he said okay great idea like you know we should do it Mm -hmm. like you know then he took an initiative and we said okay fine we'll make it big Mm -hmm. so we'll make it something like that that's his idea then to come up with one day one race and one event so you really are trying to compete because you know I think of those uh, amazing races there's there's so many of them Uh, when it comes down to Isle of Man is one of the big ones that people always talk about and you're really trying to get one of these to Dubai aren't you oh 
Uh, not that definitely because yeah. that's the most dangerous any race uh, yeah tt is the most dangerous so mm-hmm. yeah. that's not going to come here and i don't want to be a part of it uh, frankly speaking i don't even watch that because it so looks dangerous wow. you okay, know i, I don't realize. you know when i saw after my few races i said you know tt i said no this is so dangerous yeah. like you know you're inviting trouble for sure but racing in the track that is amazing that's mm-hmm. like you know one should try at the track right. if he has a capacity to uh, uh, take the bike to the track he should try once mm-hmm. like yeah. you know but then uh, you know uh, i'm sure that uh, when you have a competition like this there would be entries which will be uh, you know you you'll be screening the entries it's not yeah. anyone and everyone who has a bike license can no, no, get no. their bike and say see, listen i'm coming to see ride. the bike ra- bike license what you ride even if you have a license that's a bike license that's too, right. you know it's a you you can ride it on the road uh, like a rta roads and everywhere but if you want to do the racing then mm-hmm. you need the uh, race license oh is it yeah it is uh, g- it is uh, d- uh, given from the FIM okay yeah so uh, that is what like you know you cannot just come and race you ah, should you should pass the exam which is like you know your speed uh-huh. uh, race speed if you are qualified for the race speed then only you will get the uh, race license oh i see yeah. you don't get uh, you don't get that. it i mean mm-hmm. so a- a- anyone who, ha- who wants to participate needs to get that license and yeah. how difficult is that process uh, to get is, that license it is a bit difficult because you know you need to know how to race because right. you know going sp- fast is not a problem hmm. anybody can go fast but taking a corners on the same speed right. that's a skill so if you are able to uh, man, man, like imagine like you know one track is that 5 kilometers 5 mm-hmm. uh, kilometer of the race circuit and you have to finish it within 1.56 seconds so wow. you, you you have to qualify to 1.56 mm-hmm. then only you get the race license okay so that's how it is so to get 1.56 you need to know how to obviously uh, yeah. move the bike now see i want to see your hands what, what do they look like is it they look i mean they look pretty normal for They're motorcyclist normal, yeah. hands you exactly, know a yeah. lot of a lot of <laughs> motorcyclists have broken fingers and uh, there was an australian rider called Mick Dew and had his set the when claws. they broke as the claw so he could just kind of get it on the bike yeah. in i i don't think in our industry i mean our sport industry yeah. is there is nobody like you know who doesn't have a screws or plates in their hands or shoulders or how many have anywhere. you got what have you got i i have luckily nothing because you know i broke few times but nothing happened like nothing to say like i have a screws in my uh, bones yeah. but my friends they have somebody says like you know i have 18 i have 17 wow. i have five i have a plates here i have a plates here i have a full of plates now even this race like you know when we are we are going to do it on 9th mm. like you know at least 10 racers they have metal in their body wow yeah this so the, i mean this, this is, is this, insane yeah, yeah no th- this is the reason why my mom you know when i was in uh, bombay she would always be very very mindful of you know letting me ride a bike to that extent that i never got a bike license for myself because my mom was like no you're not getting a license despite that yes i rode in mumbai you know uh, i rode a bike in bombay but then uh, yeah parents are always always very against the thought of you getting a bike license it is risky isn't it it is very risky but i mean if somebody wants to ride a bike i tell them like you know please come and ride it on circuit even if you are, if you, do, you don't have to race mm-hmm. you know if you are a biker if you want to experience the bike a super bike then you should come to the autodrome and ride and it's a very very safe because you know we have a different different classes like in you know, a novice intermediate and the advanced okay, okay. so racers they all ride it in advance because mm-hmm. they are they know um, all these things but novice even if you if you are a, a bike enthusiast so you can come to the track and you can have a nice gear like this mm-hmm. and they will teach you like you know how to go how to maneuver and all these things it's it's a good a great experience then you learn it from there but i still don't prefer that you know you be a, say, a racer though my son is a racer oh interesting you know, everybody says like you know how can you allow your son to race i said see i know that and you know, i'm a racer i know how safe it is okay mm-hmm. i put him into the i told him like you know i don't want you to to be on the street rider right. you know rather you come to a, a track you ride a bike if you like it you race i don't mind because i feel it's that safe yeah. right you know i wow. feel that safe like you know uh, if even if i have to suggest you I don't suggest you to go to take the bike and go to the hatta hmm. okay go to the uh, go to uh, diba or something like you know rider go there and they come back with uh, broken bones and all those things right. uh, it's not because you know it's um, uh, it's because of the road hmm. you know you never know you get surprised all the time True. so track is always safe like and even if you crash you crash in a normal way you are fully geared and you your your gear has been tested by the scrutineering guy everything mm-hmm. so i feel like you know even if you want to race uh, uh, practice you have to come to autodrome and 
practice. You know, you will love it. Well, the Adrenaline Cup, it's a grueling 14 laps on that international rate circuit. Uh, each lap is around about 4.3 uh, kilometres, and this is going to touch and test the endurance of each rider. This is going to be an incredible event, which we're looking forward to. October 9 at the Dubai Aerodrome, it's called the Adrenaline Cup. And uh, Nasa Syed, thank you so much for thank coming you so in. Much. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, know, you coming, in, coming in in your bike gear, and you've got your helmet, and you've got the whole situation. And we're looking forward to this event on the October 9th. Uh, people, uh, tickets are available. People can get down oh, there and watch we it. Have, we have kept it for the first time. Like, you know, we thought, like, you know, let people come and enjoy the first race, first year mm-hmm. or first race. Yeah. So let's say for the next year, like, you know, maybe we come up with the ticketing event. But this year, it's free. Free for anyone oh, to get down fantastic. there. Family, we have a lot of entertainment for the family, kids, and the... Oh, uh, bring the kids know. down. They want to yeah. hear the bikes, the yeah. sound, the uh, Exactly. Oh, we yeah. have kept a lot of um, uh, things, like, you know, small, small things for the uh, kids. Mm-hmm. They can take and meet the uh, riders and they can take the pictures with the riders and sit on the bike and take, click the pictures and nice. start. The, you know, you have so many different things, food trucks and uh, some of the BMW uh, bikes, mm-hmm. uh, small bikes bikes for the kids oh, lovely. So, something we are oh, organizing is, as is, much as really, possible really yeah. really cool uh, Nasser uh, you know a couple of personal questions before I you know uh, you know let, let you get Please. back to work uh, first up how many bikes do you own and which are those I have uh, nearly eight to ten bikes wow. I have almost all the bikes yes you know you name it we have all the bikes uh-huh. say Triumph from British Triumph and Ducati Italian Kawasaki Suzuki uh, Honda um yeah, wow. I think these are the major brands. So mm-hmm. I have all five major You've brands. You've got all yeah. five major brands. Yeah. And how, how much does a suit weigh? The uh, whole the full suit around, with helmet. The suit around 12 kg. Uh, the helmet around helmet is the lightest, which is uh, 1.3 kg. And the gloves and kg and sh- boots are uh, 5 kg plus. The so, boots are 5 kg yeah, itself. Yeah, yeah. This is this is interesting. Yeah. No, I mean, it definitely looks uh, very, very tough. And, uh, you know, if, if it's going to save your life, and yes, so be it. Yes, the safety comes first, isn't it? So Absolutely. Enjoyment is already there and uh, safety comes first. Wonderful. Well, thank you very much for coming in. Congratulations on taking the thank initiative so to start good. something new. We like that entrepreneurial spirit. It's October 9th at the Dubai Aerodrome. Uh, NASA site on TSB.